Good morning, Liz. How are you today? Good morning, Doris. I'm very well, thank you. I'm enjoying a sunny day in the mountains. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not in the mountains, but it's sunny and therefore I'm happy. Good, anyway, good. So, well, thanks very much for joining us today um, to talk about content marketing. I'm also very pleased that I could inveigle you to come and talk to us. You have a fantastic CV and, and really a great job. So let me introduce Liz. She is a freelance brand journalist, a writer and editor with many years of experience. She lives in Lausanne and can be found on the mountaintops wherever she, whenever she has a spare moment. Proof is that she is there right now. Is that right, Liz? Uh, yeah, you're right, Doris. I do wear um, a few different hats, but professionally, everything I do revolves around content of some kind or another. So as you said, I'm a freelance writer, um, editor, etc. One of the things I'm doing at the moment is looking after a blog for Paperly. Um, so Paperly, it, for those people who haven't heard of it, it's a Lausanne-based startup. And uh, it's actually a, a software program that allows you to create an online newspaper by pulling in various web feeds so do check that out um, if you're interested. Um, I'm also just uh, launching a, a content agency with a partner so that's very exciting um, and I have another project on the go which is very interesting. I'm writing or co-writing co a book about Twitter uh, with a, a Twitter expert so that's also good fun and yeah when I get a few spare moments there's nothing really that I like more than walking up a hill, up a mountain. It's just my passion. Yeah, well, really, indeed, you, you're wearing a lot of hats and I've actually met you in person already. And, you know, I can tell from your eyes, from the glitter in your eyes, that you, you're having a whale of a time, right? You are really there where one should be today, especially as a journalist. So um, now just give us your wisdom with regards of two most common concerns that business owners express to me quite often. Um, how do we provide our audiences with interesting, original and relevant information when we are busy actually running our business? Yeah, I think that's a really excellent question. Um, producing content of any kind is very time consuming and quite emotionally draining once you've used up all your original ideas. Um, and e even people whose business is only producing content find that as well. But what, what I think is at the moment, um, all of us who need to create content, we're in a very fortunate position. And that really is because there is... Um, a huge explosion of content coming onto the internet at the moment. I think I read this week that there are 27 billion pieces of content being shared online every day. So there's this, yeah, this phenomenal um, pool of content that, that we, we content producers can draw from. Yeah, yeah. Somehow you need to channel it because it's, for most people, so much content can't be digested. And I think that's where, where it is important to understand who your target audience is and then channel the relevant information to them. Is that right? Absolutely. That's yeah. exactly the approach I would take. And I think what's really helpful to us now is the whole idea of content curation. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that curation is a word that's perhaps not familiar to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, in this context, we tend to think of it more in the context of a museum curator mm -hmm. who, who finds and pulls together a collection of material on yeah. a specific topic. But in fact, now we can do exactly the same thing with the content on the internet and in pulling together that relevant information organizing it and publishing it we, we can really um, we can really uh, reduce the burden of creating original content I so think that's con uh, yeah sorry. that's really sorry to interrupt mm. um, I think that's really important for for business people to understand that content management content marketing doesn't mean just having to do it all yourself, right? Having to write exactly. it all yourself from the Exactly. Start. I think that's, interesting. Um, that's the thing that's really changed. I mean, in 2012, I was just reading the other day, 
the idea of curating content as really seeing mass adoption amongst people who have to produce a lot of content. And, you know, it's just there's a fantastic resource out there. We I think the challenge is for people to understand that they can do this mm -hmm. and to learn the, t the techniques yeah. and the tools for doing so. Yeah. Another concern people then as a corollary to the first question is, well, you know, um, what do I do to stand out from all the others who are doing the same thing? So this brings us back again, I guess, to, to acquiring some skills about how to do this. Is that right? Yeah, I think there's two elements to that. You know, I mean, my personal feeling about standing out is that you only need to stand out to your target niche audience. Absolutely. And, you know, you shouldn't worry about what other people are doing. Um, content production to me is a very audience centric activity. Mm -hmm. So I think if you focus on what they need, when they need it, you will stand out to them. Yeah. But to yeah, your, your question is a good one. Um, using content curation, will make you stand out because you're going to be pulling in a much more much richer more diverse mix of content for your audience's specific interests than one person could ever possibly yeah. produce yeah. by themselves yeah. it's a tremendous opportunity I think I think it's an opportunity um, businesses big and small have to really grab today so my approach to, to acquiring new knowledge and new ways of doing things is usually to watch somebody else. So where can we watch you? Where can we observe what you do? Okay, well, you can come to my blog yes. um, where I'm, I'm just about to post some articles on introduction to mm -hmm. content curation and some of the tools and techniques available. Okay. Um, I'm myself a practice curation on a daily basis mm -hmm. and I have a couple of online magazines which we okay. can probably give the URLs for those yeah, where, where, people, mm -hmm. yeah, where people can go and have a look at some videos um, mm -hmm. explaining the whole idea behind content curation and some others to, to get an idea of what yeah. the tools are, are like. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. Now, for our listeners, you will be, obviously, you, as you watch this video, you will see appear um, various links as Liz is talking. And then if you just patient, be patient to the end of the video, it will be in 20 seconds or even less, uh, I'll give you another list again of the whole set of links so that you can know where to reach Liz anytime. And I really recommend you, you observe her. I've learned a lot from her already. So, well, thanks very much. We let you go back to your mountains. Enjoy the day. Okay. Thanks to you, Doris. Don't Thank you very best. much for taking the Talk time you and enjoy your day as well. Bye-bye, yeah. Liz. Bye. -bye, Liz. Bye.